Hello, 5th and 6th grade Einstein students. This is Mrs. Sumner here. Today I'll be showing you how to complete a rhythmic dictation. This is great practice for your ear training and your aural skills. You can use your Google Chromebook or any computer device that you have at home, and this will help you to practice these music exercises which we've been working on in class. The very first thing you're going to need to do is go to your Google web browser and type in T-E-O-R-I-A dot com, Teoria dot com, and you're going to see um, the home page. The very first um, tab that you are going to want to click is exercises. You're going to scroll down under ear training and find rhythmic dictation. When you get to the rhythmic dictation page, it's going to show you different presets. Highlighted in green are the time signatures, which you're going to need, which is 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4. You should have a quarter note selected, as well as no syncopation, no rest, and no triplets. When you're looking at your tempo, please select Andante. If you need to go slower, you can choose Adagio or Lento. Please do not select Moderato, Allegro, or Presto because that will be going too fast. Make sure that you are at 10 minutes and 5 exercises. This allows 2 minutes per exercise. If you like to decrease the time, you can press the minus button, but I would highly recommend that you leave it at 10 minutes. As soon as you click OK, it is going to start the rhythmic dictation and you're going to hear four clicks. So make sure that you are ready before you click the OK button. If you would like to sign in to save your score, you can do that or you can take a screenshot of your overall score at the end and you can send it to my email for extra credit. You can also do this uh, to just practice the rhythms as well. I think I'm ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button. I just heard my first dictation and up at the top you're going to see that there's a blank bar and you're going to complete two measures. My time signature is 3-4 so I need three beats in the measure. The very first note that I heard was a dotted half note. I'm going to click the half note button and I'm going to add the dot. If I need to hear the rhythm again I'm going to go up to the top and hit the speakerphone button. Okay, now that I heard it a second time, I know which notes I need to select. I'm going to click three quarter notes, one, two, three, and that created a second measure. If I click the wrong note and I need to undo it, I will hit the undo button and it will reset. Once I'm finished, I'm going to hit check answer. And right now it's showing me that I got it correct. I got 100 out of 100. You'll see over here that your time is still going. So as soon as you're finished, you will click Next Exercise. Every time you hear a new dictation, it'll show you a new time signature, and you'll be hearing different notes that you'll be selecting to complete the rhythmic dictation. When you've finished your five exercises, you can go up to the top and click End Exercise and View Score. Or if you need to redo it and you need to slow down the tempo, you can click Reset Score and Edit Options. I'm going to end the exercise and I'm going to see how long it took me to complete it, how many exercises I did, yours should say five, how many notes were correct, how many errors I made, and then my overall score. When you are finished and you would like to take a screenshot or you have saved your score and you would like to email it to me, my email address is l-e-s-l-i-e-s-u-m-n-e-r at sd54.org. Please make sure you include your name and your overall score. If you're doing this just for practice and you would like some feedback, you can also email me. Thank you and please let me know if you have any questions.